What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am doing yet another three looks with one palette makeup tutorial video. So I have three different looks using the BH Zodiac palette. I think it's fairly new, if not it's new to me. <laughs> and I was really excited when I got it because it's just a huge range of colors. There's like all these matte shades. And there's this huge highlight in the center, but then there's also these baked shadows that are like, some of them are duochromes and most of them are just super, super shiny. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So I'm just gonna start off with this warm toned look using some of the mattes and shimmers. So I'm taking this really light beigey, orangey kind of shade. It actually looks a lot more orange on my skin than it did in the palette, but I am just going to take that and start to work that on the outer corner of my eye and in my crease. If you guys watched my recent makeup one one video I told you guys that I do like this certain technique for most of my makeup ideas and this is basically I'm just following that just with a few more extra steps so then I'm gonna go in with a slightly more dense brush and I am taking the lightest orange shade and I'm just gonna do the same thing just sort of buffing that into the outer corner and in my crease you can see I'm getting a lot of fallout this is a super pigmented palette if you don't tap off the excess from your brush then you are gonna get some fallout but I just wipe it away at the end I don't really have that much of a problem with it especially because I usually do my eye makeup first and then I do my face makeup so not really a problem I'm just gonna take a clean brush and sort of blend that out a little bit and then wipe away that fallout because it was bothering me and then I'm gonna take this darker brownish orange shade and I'm going to go even deeper into the crease and just continue to slowly build that up until it is darker and you can see it's definitely taking on this like super orangey vibe but I think that orange is a really good transition if you aren't really that bold with colors. I think orange is close enough to brown that it can still be a nice neutral tone look. Again, just taking that clean brush and just blending everything out so it looks nice. And then I'm taking this champagne color, which actually looks a lot more gold on my eyelids. And I'm just applying that with my finger into the lid and just sort of the, the inner half of my eye. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of blending so that it is nice and seamless onto the transition into the matte shades. And then I'm taking this brown shade and just basically doing the same thing, just continuing to work it into my crease and get that nice and deep and looking really good and a nice little fade. This is actually like a go-to look for me. I pretty much wear this look all the time for work when I'm not doing something more neutral. <laughs> so you can see it's almost taking on like a little bit of a reddish tone. I think that brown has some red undertones to it. Anyway, I'm going to take that orangey shade and I'm going to start to put that in my lower lid. What am I calling that? Man, I'm having a little brain fart right now. But anyway, I'm just going to do basically the same thing, just building up those darker colors under my eye until I am satisfied with how it looks. And then I'm going to take the black and I'm just going to deepen that a little bit as well as just a tiny bit of the outer corner. So then I'm just going to darken my lash line by putting some eyeliner in my tight line. I pretty much always do this but I think it's an optional step. And then I'm going to go in with my eyeliner and make myself a winged line. So I've talked about this before in a few videos but when I do my winged liner I do have really watery eyes. So what I end up doing just because I'm super paranoid is I'll do my usual wing with the liquid liner and then I'm going to go in with Sigma gel liner and I use that just in the inner corner of my lid because it is super waterproof and it looks really good. And then I'm going to go over it with the NYX liner just because it is nice and dark. So I have this nice thin little wing and I added some of that champagne -y color to my inner corner just to make it pop a touch. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara to make my lashes nice and long and because this is a YouTube video and no YouTube video is complete without some falsies, I'm throwing on my false lashes. So this is the final look. I love how this turned out. I love wearing this look. It is one of my favorite go-tos with this palette, so. The next look, as you may expect, is going to be a super cool toned purple and I am totally obsessed with these purple shades in here. I started packing this one on my lid with my finger just because I really wanted a high color payoff and then I'm going in with a brush in my crease just to make a more seamless transition and then I'm going to take that lighter purple shade just to help that blend into, you know, my crease area. I normally like to start with the lightest shade but just because I wanted to start by packing that onto the lid 
shade. I just worked a little bit backwards there, but then we're gonna go back and work with that darker shade and start to work that into my crease as well. So basically just doing a lot of blending until I'm satisfied. And then I'm going in with that darker purple and I'm just going to start to work that into my crease as well, just deepening that until I'm satisfied with how that looks. Basically, we're just gonna do a whole lot of blending. I feel like the majority of doing eye makeup is just blending colors so that they look seamless. So that's what we're doing now. <laughs> And I'm gonna do the same on the bottom, starting with that medium purple shade that I started off with on my lid, and then just eventually working my way into that darker shade as well. Next, I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow in this palette, and I'm just going to work that into my crease as well, and just the outer corner, just to deepen that look. And I'm gonna do the same on my lower lash line, just because I want that to match. And then I'm taking this really gorgeous silvery color, and I'm just putting that in my inner corner. It's super subtle, but I do think it makes Makes my eye look a little bit more open and it makes it pop just a tiny bit so I loved that little addition. And then I am going to actually put some eyeliner in my waterline. I decided I wanted to do really dramatic eyeliner for this. So I'm gonna do like a little crazy cat eye. So I want my waterline to be super dark on the top and the bottom. So what I do when I wanna do a really thick cat eye is I'll start off small and then I'll just keep working my way up until it is as thick as I like because you can always go thicker, but once you're too thick, you cannot make it any thinner without starting your eye makeup over again. So if you're gonna do a nice thick cat eye you should always start really thin and then just eventually build your way up slowly so again just using that sigma gel in the inner corner because i don't want my eyes to water and i'm also going to use that for the inner corner little point cat eye thing that we're doing here <laughs> so yeah just working my way into doing that and then covering that up with the NYX Epic Ink Liner just because it is nice and super black. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara once again and then I'm going to put on some false lashes just because I want to be super dramatic. And this is the final look. Another awesome and totally different look that you can create with the same palette. I love just how many different looks you can do. But now we're going to move on to yet another different look. So I'm just starting off with this neutral beige shade again and just doing the same step as I did in my first look just sort of deepening my crease color and just working that all the way around my eye so that I have like a nice little base for where my crease is gonna be and then I'm taking this olive green color and I'm just gonna start to do the same thing just working that into my crease and trying to get that nice olivey color in there I think this is another really nice super subtle color that you can use sort of to transition between being very neutral neutral and using browns and being very colorful like I tend to be but don't worry this look is about to get a lot more colorful <laughs> so I'm also gonna bring that onto my lower lash line just making that nice and smoked out both on the top and the bottom and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little concealer brush and I'm going to take my lightest concealer and I'm gonna start to draw on a little half cut crease but since I have such small lids I wanted to try something different so I ended up bringing the cut crease up a lot higher than I normally would so it's actually higher than my usual eyelid, which was pretty different for me, but I love the way it turned out. This is actually what I'm wearing in the intro and outro of this video. So I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. In a way, I think it almost made my eyes look bigger. So if you have hooded lids like me and you have really small eyelids, then I would definitely recommend doing this. Just making a slightly bigger false crease when you're doing a cut crease so that it kind of gives the illusion that you have bigger eyelids. <laughs> so I'm going to take this color Capricorn, which to me looked kind of like an olive green, but once I started applying, I realized it was definitely more of like a gray with a green duochrome shimmer to it so I ended up going over that a little bit but I'll, I'll talk about that later so I'm just gonna pat that onto half of my cut crease and then once I like the way that looks I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous Sagittarius color and I'm going to do the other half and then I'm just gonna work at trying my best to blend them in seamlessly together just by sort of patting over the colors and just doing a little bit of blending and then I'm just gonna try to go back in and pat that color on just to make more of that gold slash green duochrome show through and then I'm going to take this gray shade and I'm going to use it in the outer corner of my eye just to help blend from that blue into the corner of my eye and just make that look like a nice little transition 
And I'm also going to bring that down under my eye as well as some of this. I ended up just sort of mixing the blue and that duochrome shade and it kind of made this green. And then I'm going to take the color Aquarius because that's sort of like a yellowish gold duochrome and I put that in my inner corner because like I said, I think that just gives the illusion of bigger eyelids and it makes them pop. So I am going to take my eyeliner again and do my tight line and I actually didn't put it on my bottom lash line. I just had a little bit left over from that very dramatic purple look because I hadn't washed my face. I just used a makeup remover wipe. But anyway, I'm going to go in with a nice thin wing here because I want the emphasis to be on the cut crease. And then I am going in with my mascara and my false lashes once more. And that is the final look. So what I think is really cool about this one, it's definitely out of my comfort zone, but it's very cool that you can sort of just take any combination of the colors that are in this palette and sort of make a really gorgeous shimmery cut crease look because they have all those gorgeous shimmery baked eyeshadows around the outside. All right, so that's it for the three looks. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. I'll probably also put a poll up because you guys know I can't resist those. Leave me a comment letting me know what other palette you want to see. If you want to see a three looks one palette or if you want me to do another makeup 101 video. You guys really liked the last one. Yeah, so that's it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you are already subscribed to my channel, I just started doing channel memberships. So if you click that join button, then you can get exclusive content, which is just like a monthly live video chat with just members. You also get like a little planet next to your name that I drew myself. I'm very proud of. And what else? I don't know. Other fun stuff. So <laughs> check that out if you're interested. All right, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, fun fact. You guys might already know this from my Instagram stories if you follow me. When I first ordered this, the one that I got had a fingerprint in it and I reached out to their customer service and they were really good about it. They sent me another one, but that one had like a bunch of broken eyeshadows in it. So I emailed them again and I was like, the replacement that you sent me has all these broken eyeshadows in it. And then they sent me a third one, which also had broken eyeshadows in it. So I think it's just these like little baked ones are just super soft, so they're easy to break. Yeah, I ended up just after that, I was like, all right, you know what? <laughs> Customer service is great, but I just, I don't wanna keep doing this. So I was, I was like, you know what? I'll just scrape off the one that has the fingerprint and I'll keep this and I'll trash the other ones, so. Yeah, that's my BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette story. It took me so long to get. I've been waiting for this since before my birthday, which was in July. So yeah. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.